Hotel 17 Hatfield Kitchen, and with the weather cooling down, we may want to spend more nights in with a cozy comfort meal. So here to help us with just that is Chef Jen. Welcome back, Chef Jen. Thank you, Jenna. Thanks for having me. This is, uh, yeah, I know, it's so chilly out. I'm like, I, I couldn't wait to do this segment with you because it's like, how can I can't we... believe we're already here. I know, I know. And it, it is soup season. Yes. Fall is like the perfect time to really lean into the soups, and yes. that's what you brought with you. Yeah, I did. I brought you three different types of soup. I wanted to show you the versatility of our products because our products are so great because again we do the work for you flavor wise mm -hmm. you just have to enhance it with uh, you know the recipes that I guide you with or even your own recipe or just put your own twist on it and that's what I love um, I'm gonna start over here sure, if that's okay. let's do it. So um, I, I did an Asian inspired soup with okay. our honey garlic teriyaki marinade so like Think about summertime, we were always talking about you can grill these items, but you can actually incorporate them into a soup. You can And I love this because I do use these and I feel like I sort of just put them in the oven, oven. or mm -hmm. put them in the slow cooker yep. and I don't really think of all the different ways you can use them, yes. so you really give me some inspo. So it's really good because you just talked about the slow cooker. This actually, you can put all those ingredients in and just slow cook it. And Which is so that's easy. so easy because you're busy, everyone's busy. And then like with our new flavor of that Southwest um, marinated mm -hmm. uh, tenderloin, yes. love it. It just gives you that like Mexican feel and, and that, uh, you know, you're in the Southwest and how can I incorporate that into a soup? Well, I incorporated it and used like tomatoes and just enhanced it with like toppings and just using all the different flavors that you would think that are in that Southwest. But then again, I did a little twist. I put it on our charcuterie Ooh, board. Oh, yes, because we're also talking about girls' night. Yeah. And if you don't have a charcuterie board at a girls' you're, night in, then it may, you're you like, should cancel it. Sorry, cancel. Um, but no, I used it on here because I thought you can have nachos, you can do some fun chips mm -hmm. with it. But I also put like different cheeses that would accompany it, like a, a mild cheese, but then I, of course, put a, a habanero cheese because <laughs> somebody always says, hey, do you have any spicy cheeses? <laughs> but then, um, yeah, so I kind of, that's what I did here with the two marinade, but then I, I love our recipe essentials too because you have that versatility with that. So right. think of an Italian, like this one caught my eye. Yeah, Italian, typically it's Italian wedding that catches my eye because I'm always like Italian wedding, Italian wedding. This is a white bean broccoli rob Ooh, uh, with gosh. our sweet Italian recipe essentials. But again, if it's you like want a flavor to, bomb. Yeah, it's a flavor <laughs> bomb. It's a party in the mouth. It's like, <laughs> hey. Um, but if you want to use our hot Italian, um, you can use the hot Italian. So it's really up to your preference and your yeah, family's preference, what sort exactly. of works. Exactly. And then what I did to make it even more fun is, you know, if it's girls' night in or if it's just a group of your friends, I, I did a lazy Susan of different toppings, and this you can so kind of spin it around and, and top a your topping soup. A topping bar. A topping bar, yeah, to go will. with your soups and your charcuterie. So, so many different ways to use all the different products. Yes. and. Detailed recipes, if yep. people are looking for step-by-step, step, you break this all down on the website. Absolutely, and I break it down and you'll go to simplyhatfield.com. And again, remember your slow cooker, remember your Instapot, but you can also use the stovetop when you're making these recipes. And that's what I love about it versatility and methods of cooking too. Absolutely. I'm definitely going to be checking out this recipe and I'm going to try my best to copy it. I might have to call you Chef okay. Jen. You're more than welcome to. You know that, Jenna. Thank you so much as always for joining us. Thank you. All right. We'll be back after a quick break.